Hey, we're, we're really bad at the economy. Yeah, almonds are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey guys, I'm Sean Price. Hey, I'm Anthony Frontino. I'm George Hines. And welcome to Super Stuff. Super Stuff, yeah! Uh, how you guys doing? <laughs> doing all right. Doing all right. We're, we're filming this like the day after we filmed the last last episode, but it's gonna be like a week apart on YouTube. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll never know. Yeah, no one will know. I mean, now they'll know. Now they'll know because <laughs> <laughs> he spoiled it. No, <laughs> don't joke. These almonds are hard to eat. Bad for the economy. Bad for your throat. Yeah. yeah. I think I found out a good name for the podcast, by the way. What is Super it? Stuff? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> Super Stuff's the name of our channel. Um, Fair. Tea Time. Tea, tea time. time? I love that. You're the tea only time. one that drinks tea, though. So, <laughs> I hate tea. Do you, you ever had hot tea? I love hot tea. I ha- uh, it's all right. I don't like, like it. Have you had good hot tea? Because like, I bet I could make you a cup of tea that you would adore. Well, let's see. I could take a sip of that right now, and we can see if I like it's it. It's really hot right now. Okay. So it's like burn your tongue hot. That's how I like it. I'll pass. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll piss. It's going to be a no for me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Jackson. Oh, my God. Uh, what a legend. Since the last episode last <laughs> night, did you get a chance to see the Michael Jackson documentary? No, I didn't watch yeah, it. Neither no. did I. Well, I completely forgot about, about it. Let's <laughs> 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 just not... Let's yeah, we it's ever it's pretty much old news at this point anyway. It's been yeah. about a week since it came out. So I did see a news. couple memes about it though, right afterwards, yeah. which I thought was very weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh god, I've seen so many R. Kelly memes. The ones of him crying, and it's like the the Katy Bear, the Katy Perry thing in the background. That's like yep. they try to tell you that you're okay, but you're not. You're not yep. okay from yep. the old vines <laughs> yep. and like uh, it was R. Kelly, but it was the vines. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, uh, poor guy. I, yeah, oh poor oh, guy. Oh poor guy. Uh, seriously, <laughs> he's been through a lot. Uh, he deserves life, yes. everything he's getting, honestly. In my humble opinion. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm humble. Speaking of uh, vines and stuff, a lot of I, I've noticed a lot of old viners are resurfacing into like YouTube and stuff. Like, uh, oh, it's been that way. Well, yeah. I, I know it's, I know it's been that way, but like even more so lately because like you know you know Josh Peck from Drake and Josh. I do. Yeah. yeah. Um, he went to YouTube after Vine. Yeah. I didn't realize. I started watching some of his videos today. He's got like millions of subscribers. Oh my yeah. dude, it's crazy! And like Lele Lele Pons, the dude, most funny. unfunny person I've ever seen. Lele Pons has so many millions of subscribers <laughs> and um, views. I follow her on Instagram because she has a nice uh, face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I'm I'm very into Latina culture and stuff. And she's very. Have you seen the <laughs> yeah, you know, okay. she, no, that, that's like, literally it. She's she's very proactive about Venezuela. Well, have you ever seen the that things stuff. that she's done to other people? Like what? Uh, uh, do you remember? You remember an old Viner? She's also a model. Amanda Cerny, I think, was her yeah, name. No, yeah, I know yeah. She sabot- Lele Pons sabotaged her YouTube channel. Got <laughs> onto it and privatized and wouldn't upload some of her videos. Serious? Well, so uh, she's a sabotage her. Oh. That, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, that's, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure she's done, like, she copyright strikes videos all the time. Like, Lady any Pons? any video with really? her name in it, she copyright strikes. Oh, she's she's dirty. <laughs> she's, really she plays look, the game dirty. You really have to look out for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that you get that with a, a lot of people, actually. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. One person on YouTube that I, I absolutely dig who, like, doesn't even care about other people is iDubbs. Oh yeah, yes. I love him. Oh, He's king, hilarious. One man. of the kings of YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. one of the low key kings. On, yeah. the, on the Mount Rushmore of like that that section of YouTube comedy, you've got um, you know, you got Filthy Frank. Obviously, you got H three H three. Yeah, know yeah I know H three. Legend. Yeah. Uh, I dubs. Man, yeah. I saw this meme the other day. It was a. Uh, <laughs> it said. The Four Horsemen of the YouTube Apocalypse, mm. and it was PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, and iDubbs. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I was like, one of these things has significantly less followers than the other three, <laughs> but it's okay. I just say, he used to, I remember, I watched him back, like, before he, I remember the first Content Cop. Dude. Because I was like, I had right nobody ever cop really. Is iconic. The day that came so out. So was the Tanamong uh, Mojo one. I remember, yeah. I remember pulling up YouTube and seeing Content Cop Jake Paul, and I was like, oh, oh man. here we go. I started <laughs> watching it, and that was my introduction to Rice Gump. Didn't know who he was before that. Yeah, I looked up after I the video. I kind of made him famous in my eyes. Uh, I, no, I, I no. never knew he had, a, he had a good following. Well, I never knew who he Rice introduced to a lot of people who didn't listen to crappy YouTube rap. <laughs> um, he introduced, you know, but I mean, I uh, Rice Gum, you know, he's dying. <laughs> Remember Jake? You Paul's know, he actually lost trip? five million followers 
do to iDubbbz. Really? I, I heard yeah. that. Yeah. I know he's uh, dying slowly. Uh, he got in trouble. Him and Jake Paul both got in trouble semi-recently yeah. uh, for doing a gambling scam, an advertisement for gambling scams. Seriously? Oh, yeah. That's big. wild. Yeah, it was like a loot, loot boxes or mystery boxes or whatever it was. <laughs> And, uh, you know, which is a very, like, it's a very scummy website. Like, mystery boxes? Yeah, like, yeah. there was, like, I There's watched... like, a certain YouTube following... Yeah, and, and they like, were... These guys were getting that. paid for it, and they were, like... I mean, it was pretty obvious that they were faking. Yeah, like, yeah. they would, like, open up... Bo- it was very clear that they were, like, pretending to win items from it and, like, yeah. pretending to open them because a yeah, lot yeah. of people, like, were commenting on it. Like, I've, it's been four weeks, I haven't gotten what I was promised, oh you know, and it's like, um, it's just very clearly a scam. Okay, basically just like, begging for followers, stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I just you, taking you. the money and... You guys, you guys remember Jake Paul's, uh, Japan trip? Logan, you Logan, mean? you mean? Yeah, oh, Logan Paul, yeah. Yeah. You know, I haven't heard from him in a while. What do you think he's doing lately? Uh, I remember there was a little bit after that where he joined the Flat Earth Society. Oh my god. But that was probably just to, you know, put yeah. his name back out there. Well, hey, good for him. I, I mean, know. I'm sure he's still making millions and millions of dollars. And well, yeah, yeah, I mean, as soon as Vine went under, him and Jake went to YouTube and immediately blew so up. Ma- like, like there's followers. so many of those Viners that went. Well, well there's a couple that I really dig. Like, uh, Courtney Miller and Olivia Sway, they used I don't to know do them. Vines. They're on Smosh now. Like, they're, oh, okay. they're actors okay. on Smosh. Okay. Um, also, I don't know if you knew this, Smosh uh, got bought out. Uh, by um, by Good Mythical Morning. Yeah, yeah, he's about Link. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that actually kind of really pleased my ears when I heard that because Rhett and Link are like wholesome dudes. Oh, yeah. love, love like, them. I love them. Love Straight them. up Good Mythical Morning. I watch it almost every day. It's great. Yeah, um, same here. And I was like kind of freaking out because I was thinking, oh, Smosh is going under. You know, mm. like, mm-hmm. I used to watch Smosh back. In the Isn't day. that crazy? Like that was that was an empire of YouTube. That was, that like, was like the biggest thing. Well, back you got to think of like, everyone who was involved in that. It was uh, Game Theory. The Warp Zone, yeah. Smosh, oh, Smosh man, Pit, it's... Smosh Games, all of them were all together. Wow, man. And then I forgot about Smosh Games. Defy Media just <laughs> Smosh shut games. down. Yeah, man. That was like my favorite thing to watch. I, I, can't, wait. Every I day. can't wait for Food Battle 2020. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, the Smosh Games crew actually does their own videos and stuff now. I don't mm-hmm. know if they're still I have not... the Smosh in any sense, but they're still kind they're of still, doing their own they're stuff. They're still together. I can't even yeah. remember the last time I watched a Smosh video. Yo, my favorite Smosh video that I've ever seen, and I'll always say this, is... um. Back in the day, when Anthony and Ian still did gaming videos, mm-hmm. they were like just playing games randomly. Yeah. They played Pokemon Pika Park Adventure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Those yeah. videos were awesome. It was like a whole series. It really? Was so so good. I remember that. Dude. It was so good. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just never. I never like. I never really had a phase with them. Mm-hmm. When it well, there's an episode. I can't remember what game they play or what they do, but it's Anthony, Ian, uh, Aaron, Dan, mm-hmm. and Rhett and Link. Mm-hmm. And it's oh, one of the that greatest is... videos I've ever seen in my Aaron entire Dan life. Aaron Dan is in uh, Game Grumps? As in... Aaron Grumps! Oh, as in the Game Grumps, yes. yes. Oh, wow. As in Aaron and Dan. Come on our podcast. I've never... <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that one. No, nah, I saw it back in the day, or maybe I'm imagining it, but I saw it back in the day, and it was they played some weird. I think it was like Just Dance is what they played. Oh, that. <laughs> but it was like Mario Just Dance on the GameCube. Oh, oh you, boy, oh, freaking Mario, Mario Mix. Dance Dance Revolution. Mario Mix, yeah. yeah. And they played that, and it was awesome because they all wore like costumes and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But man, I gotta tell you, uh, some true inspirations: Rhett and Link, um, Jacksepticeye. Really big Jack fan. Oh, yeah. Uh, Game Grumps, obviously. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Aaron Hansen is my personal hero. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. You know, on the, on the topic of Smosh, their, um, their first video ever of them uh, doing the Pokemon theme song mm-hmm. is one of the most heartwarming things ever if you go back and watch it. Well, yeah. if you can find it. Yeah. Cause every just, time it gets uploaded, it gets deleted. Yeah, because it's just like, it was just two dudes mm-hmm. hanging out, singing a, like, voice, sing, like, lipping a song. That was one of the first YouTube videos. Yeah, they're just lipping a Seriously. song. Like back, like that was one of the very first YouTube videos. Not, what year was it? YouTube started in 2006? 2005. Yeah, yeah, and there's you were five. <laughs> I, was five. I was five. I was five too. Yep. But they're they're just singing. They're just two pals singing a song, and then they just grew into the big thing. They had their own company now. God, it's crazy. It's to crazy. Think it's been a while. What YouTube used to be? Oh, Charlie God. bit my finger. Compared to what it is now, sneezing panda. Fred. Straight up. Fred. Every now and again, I still listen to um. Oh, what's the guy's name? Uh. My here. Oh, the, oh, yeah. the guy that yeah. dances to it. Yeah, yeah. I love, 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 love that oh, video. Man, 
what happened, man? Now YouTubers rule the world. And it's, the <laughs> well, future looks very bleak. I've actually, I've, I've, I've looked into this, and I, I, I have an interesting theory. Mm-hmm. I say within five years, satellite, cable, TV, all that stuff, obsolete. Everything's going to be Netflix, Hulu, and yeah, YouTube. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Netflix, Hulu, that. and YouTube. That's where it's going to be. It's sad, isn't it? I don't think it's sad. I think we're just moving it's into... It's crazy. I think we're moving into a modern era where the satellite cable... Stuff. This, this is, is a weird. This now. is a weird generation to live in. Yeah, I it's think it's. Pretty, I, I'm, I like I, it. I think it's a weird generation to live in. It's um, it's right on the barrier of two generations, is what it is. Yeah. Here in about five to ten years, it's just going to be that second generation mm-hmm. because like all of like the generation barrier is going to be grown up. You know, they're just going to be moving on with their lives. Yeah. And like once the are sixty we, to eighty year old, hey dude, huh? Are we the older generation? We I'm, will be at some point. N- I mean, if you want to get technical, um, I'm actually in a different generation than you two, because I thought I was millennial. Millennials are eighty or uh, eighty-eight to, to ninety-eight, mm-hmm. and Gen Z is ninety-nine to two thousand. Do you remember when you used to tell me that I was a millennial and you weren't? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't want to be back when I used to pretend I was way older than you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. back Meanwhile, when you were I like sit here with my back pain in my tea, <laughs> <laughs> leaning back with a cigarette, like you youngsters don't know what I've been through. <laughs> yeah, stop smoking cigarettes. But... I know. I'm very proud of you for that. Yeah, I stopped jeweling. Thank God. Yeah, jeweling's bad for you. It's very. not cool to jewel. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I uh, I dig a lot of YouTubers straight up. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just. Sometimes I get into these weird tangents where I'll watch nonstop YouTube videos yep. constantly, yep. you know, and mm-hmm. I'm just like, I could be doing way Saturday. better things with my yeah. time, you know. Like today, I, I was free all day, you know. Mm-hmm. I spent my time learning how to use a new software on my computer and mm-hmm. learning how to do all of this stuff with mechanicals and whatnot. Yeah. And instead, I could have been watching Game Crumbs all day. Yeah. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> why was I productive? You it's know? so much easier. To why, just... do, why do I go to my job Monday through Friday when I could be watching? Realistically, though, at my job right now, like between counties and stuff, since I'm riding passenger and not driving, I just watch Game Crumbs. Yeah, no, day. I mean it's it's sweet. I pull up YouTube like when we've got no cars coming, or my boss isn't there. I'll just pull up YouTube, and watch it on my phone. Well, I mean, you're my boss is here. Now. You can wake up on your days off and just like watch videos all day. Oh yeah. yeah. I need to get you a camera or something that way you could stream up there. Send me the videos I'm gonna edit. Oh, I would love that. Thank you. <laughs> You're so productive. Uh, when, when was this? Yesterday? That you learned how to use all that software? It was today. Today. This morning. <laughs> You're being all productive doing that. Meanwhile, I was I was at my house. I was so so bored that I just be classic mode as every character in Smash Bros. <laughs> I was that was a goal of mine. I, did, I finally a little bit ago finally got to. I did it. I unlocked all the characters. See, it took I, me so I'm telling long. You man, it takes a lot for me to want a 100 percent a game. It, like, it takes a lot it's of hard. involvement. And Smash Bros. The new Smash Bros. I really enjoy. I enjoy playing with other friends. But the the campaign just didn't do that for me. I don't think I'll yeah. ever. I'll I really like it, but I like, I like it's just it. it's so much monotonous it's, combat yeah. and battle that yeah. I just don't dig. I feel yeah. that. I feel Whereas, that. like Spider Man, mm-hmm. I'm still playing Spider Man. So much. Like fun. I still play it on my random days, and I still love that game. It's wild. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. debating um, uh, this morning whether or not I wanted to get the DLC for Spider-Man or I'm about to buy, buy, buy a new game in uh, general. I'm about to buy the new Spider-Man DLC. I still need to buy the DLC for Xenoblade. I said I was going to get that day one. Yeah. yeah. It's never yeah. Even... Isn't the DLC like 40 bucks right now? It's, yeah, it's, it's only... It's cheaper than it was. I know it's that. super cheap. Yeah. And the DLCs for Spider-Man aren't super big. And no, there's a new one coming out soon, I think. Um, yeah. Because they uh, isn't the Spider Verse costume in one of the DLCs now? I have no There's idea. Into I the Spider Verse DLC. I oh, think. that's cool. I'm not really sure. You'd have to think so. If not, they'll add it soon, right? Well, oh uh, yeah. I mean, well, they just recently added the bombastic Bagman in the. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's my favorite. Foundation. One of the best. Suits. Still my favorite. Dude, the bombastic Bagman story is one of my favorites to tell. <laughs> Were you here last time? I was telling yeah, the yeah, story. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. It, that that is one of my favorite stories to tell people because it's so. Authentic. It's to, just like <laughs> it's just to, just to think that that Spider Man and real. Human Torch were just like chilling. It's at just each one of those times you think about a story and you're like, who who thought of to write this? Like who a, was like a genius? The man. That's I, wanna... <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'll tell you who thought of this. The man, <laughs> the man, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby. Oh, oh, sure. Two brilliant minds. I'm telling you. Oh yeah. <clears throat> one was fantastic. One was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you say that? No, I'm sad. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't be sad. But they're uh, straight up the the games and stuff. I really, 
I really dig 100%ing a game. It just takes a whole lot. Yeah, it does. Speaking of which, like, what are you guys' favorite games? Well, I, I actually, uh, I, I've compiled some lists. Um, I have my top five favorite games. You guys have your top five favorite games as mm-hmm. well. Let's go in order. With a lot it. of honorable mentions. <laughs> yes. Well, I have two honorable mentions. Um, let's, I have let's, like let's go first. George can go first and give a brief explanation as to each game. So here's our, uh, our right. top five favorite video games of all time. I'll do my all three honorable mentions first. I'll just go through those quickly. Your honorable mentions are going first? Yes. All right. Uh, let's go so nuts. Let's go Fallout ahead. 4, that's one that usually makes my top five, gotcha. but it's, it's been uh, replaced recently. Uh, the Doom from 2016? Oh, that's 2015, a good one. Great game. For what system? Uh, PS4 okay. is what I played it on, but it, it, fantastic game. So much fun. Um, Amazing. Minecraft, obviously. Minecraft's number three? It's No, no, that's on my uh, honorable mentions. Oh, okay. Uh, Breath of the Wild, Halo Reach, Star Fox 64, Brawl. Oh, these are all honorable mentions. <laughs> Those are my honorable oh my mentions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotcha. Um, <laughs> to number five, we got... Okay, so my list is mostly just games that I played so much of. Yeah. And, like, GTA 5 is my number five. Mm-hmm. When I when that game came out, man, I just remember doing nothing but playing that game. Oh, yeah. So much fun. So much to do. It's one that I could even, like, I could get on my PS4 right now and still play it and have so much fun. Oh, yeah. Um, get, like, get on in there with a friend and just dick around. Oh, it's it. so... That's like, my the favorite. story mode was fun to do. Just get on online with friends and just <laughs> do absolutely nothing. The online was, so online was amazing. When they added the heists, mm-hmm. I remember grinding those so much. I remember <laughs> every time we would find a new duplicate glitch for cars, Dude. we would just sit there for hours doing that and making as much money as we could. That's right. like some of my favorite memories. Uh, oh, yeah, straight, yeah. Up. straight up. My number four goes back to uh, you know middle school. You know drinking, uh, <laughs> drinking um, Is it Monster Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew it Monster. It's Black Ops. I knew it. <laughs> Absolutely love. Black Ops too, man. I remember was I, a Call of Duty fan, I started but, a I started a clan with my friends. We took it so seriously. We were trying so hard started to go a clan from with your friends. Oh, white yeah. white hoods. Oh you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. Number three. Number three is the weird one that I warned you guys about. Mm-hmm. It's Wii Sports. Dude, I love. I, I Wii played Wars. that so I can, much I can with my Wii family. Uh, Wii Sports Resort was a lot of fun. Oh, I did love yeah. that one. But like um, my family playing, like we play like boxing, golf, golf. tennis, oh, so bowling. So bowling. So bowling. We would we would have family bowling nights just on the Wii. Yes, we were same actually same in one of the families that actually played the Wii for the purpose of the Wii was invented. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, all the time. Oh, because like I played it for Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Dude, I uh, love funny you should say that. Uh, my number two though, Pokemon Fire Red. Hey, but really? one of like it, it's I'm, it, I'm actually I'm playing Fire Red right now. Really, it's I have so Game good. Boy in Fire Red was yeah, my first playing Fire Red. It was it, it, it was, was the first Pokemon game I ever played. Same It'll here, nothing I'll ever. T- I just remember like that was like one of the first video games that I ever got really really into. Gotcha. I, I love that one. And then my number one, you guys know it already, Mario Galaxy. Mario, Mario Galaxy. Galaxy. Dude. That like it, it hit me at the perfect time of like oh, yeah. I love space and astronomy, mm-hmm. and I loved like everything around that and then I found out there's a Mario game that has everything to do with that my mm-hmm. mom I came home one day and my mom had it I <sighs> sat down and played it your mom it. just like had this game for she you just, oh that I mean that's how I got the majority of my games when oh, I was a kid so I just dope. would get home have a new game man and I remember getting that one and I was like dude this one's gonna be special I just I just remember like I was getting to that point I was like nine years old when I first played it I was just getting to that point where I was like my imagination wasn't like as rampant as he used to be. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't like, oh, there could be anything in that cave. But in reality, I, now I'd be like, oh, there's just probably going to be like a treasure chest in there and like five bombs. <laughs> but like back, but back when I was playing Galaxy, I was just getting out of that like anything is possible oh, yeah. ideal idea set. And then I played Mario Galaxy, and all of a sudden I was just filled with so much awe. <laughs> like I, like I was like, anything can happen in this game. This is the best game ever. It, it's just so like, and I never put it down for like three years. It yeah, no. It's, game. I mean, what was it like? <laughs> five months ago when I told you guys I was playing it again. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> I was one hundred percenting it again. Yeah, <laughs> yep. And then I'll probably do this sometime do the same thing with the second one. Because that one's up there for me, too. Oh, dude, I need to get me a copy of Galaxy 2. I can so play good. for I lost one. my copy of 1, and I'm so sad about that. See, mm-hmm. I have 1, the manual, the coin, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I'm very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to play that one day, just me and you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, of course, of course. I love it, too. Um, Anthony, <laughs> top 5. All right. I'm going to start with honorable mentions. I didn't write them down, but I'll see if I... I didn't write them down, but I'll see if I remember them. Um, well, one of them has to be uh, Super Metroid for... Uh, 
The Super Nintendo. Ooh, Dude, I love Super it's Nintendo. It's my favorite Super Nintendo game. There are game. so many Super Nintendo games that didn't make my list, oh, and I'm yeah. so upset about <laughs> it. I have, I think, yeah, I have two Super Nintendo games on here, and I wanted to, like, like I love Chrono. I'll, I'll talk later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not your time, not your time. <laughs> but I think Super Metroid is just one of those games that you play as a kid. It's not a horror game, but it certainly scared the hell out oh, of you. And that whole series, man. It spooked me as a kid, but I couldn't put it down for some reason. I, I played it all the time. I could never get further than, like, the first boss, but I loved it. Um, I guess second would be... I think you said it earlier. Oh, shoot, I don't remember it. <laughs> what was one of your honorable mentions? Uh, Fallout 4, Doom, Minecraft, Breath of Minecraft. the Wild. Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. I played the, I played the hell out of Minecraft. I... Went on there with my friend on the Xbox, like, every single day. Just never, we, we just did anything. We, we went on creative mode, we built giant rainbow towers or whatever, <laughs> and then we burned it all down, like, just a normal Minecraft story. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, and next would probably be Halo Reach, just again, because oh, I played it constantly with my friends. Such a good game. Amazing. Dude, Halo game. Reach is really cool. I think, I think personally, Halo Reach in its heyday is the best game ever compared to any other game. Ooh. Yeah, personally. Wow. Nowadays, it's not the best game, but I've, I, I, I'd stand by that. There really the isn't anything back. like uh, beating the Reach campaign for the first oh, time. Oh, yeah. That final level. Oh, yeah. That made me so sad. <laughs> it doesn't end until you die. <laughs> okay. Now it's on to my actual number five, which is actually a relatively new game as this is being as this podcast is being filmed. Mm-hmm. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Really? Yeah, man. Makes your top five? Dude, Smash Ultimate's good. I was, mm-hmm. I was thinking in between Brawl and Ultimate, but mm-hmm. I ultimately decided Ultimate just because it has every character. I love how different the opinion of Brawl is. Like, you either have people who think it's that the war- it's the worst game that's ever mm-hmm. been invented because it's not as good as Melee, mm-hmm. yeah. or people who loved it because of its sheer authenticity with having Sonic as yeah. a character. Or for, for me, the reason I love Brawl so much is because, I mean, that was the first Smash game I ever played. I never got to play Melee. I played well, Melee. See, I grew up with Melee. I grew I up with Melee. Melee. Yeah. I grew up with Melee. I played that with my cousins all the time. I have so many amazing memories of that game, but mm-hmm. I just think Brawl's the more fun game. It is. Brawl has, I, Brawl I mean, has a me, more broader spectrum in my if, eyes. If you're it's just... For a more casual kind of playing, it's way better than Melee. It's got a better story. Uh, uh, Sub Space Sub- Sub- is oh, yeah. really, really good. I mean, that's it's... like, it's a dream come true just watching all of these characters come together with like an actual story oh, fighting yeah. together. Straight up. Um, Captain Falcon hanging out with Olimar was my favorite. Yeah, like the, the combination they have in that game, like it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Snake and Lucario. Pikachu and Samus. Oh, yeah. Pokemon Trainer Ness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my favorite thing was I only played Subspace Emissary for the first time last year. Like a year, really? a year Yeah, we played it together. I mean, yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah, a year ago around this time. Remember we would have like game nights every yeah. week. Uh, us yeah. us three, then our friend Phil and our friend Tanre. Yeah. Bring that back. Yeah, and oh, we, man, we, we played the Super this Mario. This summer, of course. Remember, we played yeah. the Super Mario Bros. game. Uh, we, yeah. the, Super, the <laughs> Super Mario Bros. or whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. played that entire game in one night. Yep. Mm-hmm. That was wicked sick. Mm-hmm. And then like late at night, we didn't 100% it. But Philip went out of the way. He stayed up all night <laughs> while we were sleeping, getting every single coin. Love that yeah. kid. I, I think he him. did actually. He did. Yeah, he I'll, did. I'll check my ca- my profile later on my Wii. But I yeah, think at least did like the that, first four worlds. That kid's wicked. Like for example, I got some Super Mario Odyssey the day it came out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I beat the campaign. Mm-hmm. Yeah, loved it. It was awesome. Great. I'm not a completionist really. I just like playing the games and like exploring and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I didn't like Odyssey enough to. Do the entire like one hundred percenting it and stuff like I loved Odyssey. Don't get me wrong, yeah, it was a great game. game. It's just it didn't have so much of my attention with everything, which it takes a lot to get my attention that much. Mm-hmm. But it didn't make me want to one hundred percent that game. But Philip, you beat it. You one hundred percented it in like it was two, remember, weeks. two weeks. I two remember weeks. it was wild. Watching I watched because he played it at school. Out of school, oh, yeah. all night. It Dude, I, wa- I went to his house and we just hung out while we played it. Like, yeah, all day. Just it was sat there and so it. much fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, g- go on with your list, though. Oh, of course. You, um, just, you just said Ultimate. That was your number five. <laughs> yeah. But um, Breath of the Wild and Ooh. or Wind Waker. I couldn't pick which one I liked really? more. I think okay. they're both completely different kind of games, but in the same series. Well, neither yeah, of yeah, them are yeah. as good as Skyward Sword, though. Well, I mean, I, <laughs> personally, I like Skyward Sword, Sorry, but it is the Skyward Sword, too. But I, oh, I, I was thinking of Phantom Hourglass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one with the train. Spirit, Spirit Track? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had that one on the DS. I don't remember anything It's a great it. game. It's better than Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> um, 
But uh, I don't. I think Wind Waker is better than Link's bow training for the Wii. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, it's just crossbow you know, training. It's crossbow God. training. It's it's a canon Zelda game though. You just shoot your crossbow. That's incredible. Yeah. A reincarnation so, and they of really Link. Will. It was, I think, the second Wii game ever. The yeah. first was Wii Sports. A reincarnation of Link exists just to shoot crossbow, and he does nothing else. Mm. <laughs> but um, I think you said butum. I said butum. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I was very confused. <laughs> you just heard me go. Tss. You're like, what? Did we do something? I think we like, had a stroke. Yeah. I think you were hissing at us. I think Wind Waker is a, a great, a great game to play. If you love pirates and you just want to like explore the ocean and find treasure and all that, Wind Waker is a really good game. It's I an really want to remaster. I've never Switch. played Wind Waker. I've, I've wanted to so bad, but I never have. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get you a copy of Wind Waker. It's good. I have a copy. You could borrow I'll, it. Maybe. I want to play Alex Wind Waker and Twilight one, Princess. So. Are real I have two ones too that I really want to play. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, I actually um, I have another GameCube. A second GameCube. Game? Yeah, I could probably lend you my GameCube because well, I, I have a Wii. I can just play GameCube games on that. Okay, do you That's have it at your uh, dorm? Uh, I can take it to my. Okay, dorm. well, I have. Um... I can let you borrow Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, dude. Oh my god, you guys are so I just, nice. <laughs> I just got this copy of the Legend of Zelda Complete Collection. It's got uh, the first two games for the NES, mm-hmm. and then Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask on it. Yep. Wow. So That's great. You, and it's got uh, a demo for uh, Wind Waker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then you can play all three of the all four of those games. The only issue is you won't be able to play. The, go on with your list. <laughs> yeah, I was say, we got this is just turned into a. <laughs> but I think okay, I like you Breath won't be able to play the best Zelda game is what I was gonna say. Yeah, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, Breath of the Wild is great because it just gives you and like immediately you start the game, you exit the cave, you immediately have this enormous world to explore. Beautiful. There's no limits on what you can do. Like if you know how to do it, you can do it. It's the same reason I think I like uh I like Super Metroid is because. It doesn't give you a tutorial and tells you how to do stuff. Right. Yeah, we, it, we were talking it, it about this out, the other day. It lays yeah, out yeah. the environment in a way that's natural for you to learn the things. Exactly. And like, like in Super thing Metroid, thing. it doesn't tell you you can uh, wall jump. Yeah. But you can if you know how to do it. Same with Breath of the Wild. You like you can climb walls. You can well, it teaches you how to climb walls. Mm. But you can push boulders. You can shoot birds. You can just do all these things that you're like, can I do? like everything? Like if it's an iron sword. It's ma- it's magnetic. If it's uh, you can put wood on the ground, place flint in front of it, and hit the sword with the iron sword, and it makes fire. And that's like that with Spider Man too, because like like the new Spider Man PS4 game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have beat, if you have played the game all the way through, and then you go back and completely restart the game, like new game, new profile, everything. Mm-hmm. You have a lot of these things that you unlock later in the game, but you don't really unlock them per mm, se. Yeah. You just learn how to do them yeah, because yeah. that's how the guide is. Mm-hmm. Like for example, you can you could web flip, um, you can swing, and you can like double flip to uh, excel yourself faster. Mm-hmm. And you can do that as soon as you start the game if you know how to do it. Yep. Yeah, one but, of my favorite things a video game can do, like when it comes to tutorials wise, is like is show don't tell. Yes, you yeah. know, I like, love that. You don't don't have like five menus popping up every time you learn a new mechanic. Yeah, like, that, that gets do like boring. a demonstration. And just then you like, just hate the game. Just having you don't know naturally how to play learn it. it. Maybe like yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, can't, I know I've seen. Um, I can't remember what game it is now, but like there was a wall <laughs> jumping is a big mechanic, and you walk up there and you just see someone wall jumping. You watch them do it, and then you go, "Oh, well, I can do the same thing." Yeah, that's how it is in Me- Super yeah. Metroid. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like in like Pokemon Fire Red, when the guy teaches you how to train instead yeah, yeah. of like explaining to you how you don't it get like five paragraphs popping exactly. up that like you press this button. And yeah, just like you go in the you, like you go in the bag, throw the Pokeball, then you do it. Like he doesn't need to tell you like fifty things. Like Mega Man, Mega Man, if you if you shoot. You can feet. shoot. Feet from Skyward Sword. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you, Wind Waker was what, your number three, you said? Yeah, Wind Waker and Breath of the Wild. Because okay. I couldn't pick one. That was four. Four. Three is uh, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Uh, yeah, the okay. game I, I knew that would be on your I list. I knew that. Yeah, had to be. Um, I know one that'll be later on the list. Just It has such an amazing oh, story. Yeah, me too. Amazing story, perfect characters, a kick ass soundtrack. It's just. Like honestly, it's a masterpiece. It's like a perfect game. Mm-hmm. It's one of the best RPGs ever made. Sean just spilled tea on his shirt. Yeah, that's so what I was really. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's all I really have to say about it. Like I can't really sing its praise. It's just an amazing game with great like dialogue. It's such a weird Thousand concept. Year Door. Such no, yeah. a I weird concept for Mario. One of the oh, yeah. it works. One of the funniest things in Thousand Year Door is when you're playing it with Anthony. 
because he, he, <laughs> he has his own voices that he's memorized over time for all of the characters. I've been playing it since I was six. And I have voices. It was funny, too, because like we played it for the first time when we like first started hanging out. We played Thousand Year Door, and uh, – I did this voice for one of the Goombas, and he goes, that's not how he sounds. <laughs> <laughs> it was a random NPC, too. He's, it was just like a random no, 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 bro, He goes, bro, bro, that's not how his voice sounds. That's not how his voice sounds. He goes, it goes like this. And I was like, oh, I am a Goomba. And he was like, no, oh, he sounds, sounds like this. I said, no, he goes like this. He, like, got, he got genuinely How do you know that? He's like, just trust me. And trust I was like, me, dude. I got Stop. It. That's not what he sounds so like. He sounds like the story. But, uh, you killed Jessica. You are hubris. But uh, number number <laughs> number two, you guys know this. It's Luigi's Mansion. I knew it. I, I thought that would be your number one. That. No, um, Luigi's Mansion. God, I thought that would be your number one too. It's I not. Too, yeah. It's not my like one of my favorite games, just because like I love like a lot of things about it, which I do. It's such a great game, but like I just play it so much. Every single Halloween, I make a tradition to play Luigi's Mansion, <laughs> like beat the game, because I can beat the game in like six hours. Yeah, I, I, I can I can attest to that. He speed runs Luigi's Mansion. It's amazing. I so I it. so I just play it. I know where all the secrets are at. I know where all the stuff's at. I get everything. I try to get a high score every time because the money's random. I think mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it's always in the same spot, but you can get lucky and get a lot of it or like not a lot of it. I don't know how it works. That might not be true. <laughs> but What's I just play, one, I just played a lot, and it's a fun game. Oh, Luigi's Mansion? Yeah. Yeah, dude. But number one, this is a super easy one to guess if you hear me talk for, like, five minutes. Earthbound. Earthbound. Earthbound, of course. <laughs> of course. As soon as you said that, it popped in my head. I was like, what is one game that he loves more than Luigi's Mansion? Like, what it's did he gotta, just talk about? What was he talking it's about? It's got to be either Earthbound 20, 30 or Mother minutes 3. Ago. Yeah, it's got to be one of the other games. Yeah. What can I say about Earthbound? <laughs> Probably a lot. <laughs> a lot. It's just, it's just such a creative game. Like it is. It, it, it's it's one of the bases for a lot of RPGs. It really is. Yeah. Like it was so good that they just gave NASA free spot in Smash in the first one. I mean, aliens come to Earth. A person from Earth inherits the alien's abilities and goes to figure out what no, he always had it. Fighting the aliens. Like how many times has that been done over? Ness is a special kid. He, yeah. Uh, a meteor lands outside of his house. I think that was the plot of the Emoji Movie. If I'm not. <laughs> 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 a meteor lands Thank outside God of his for house. The emoji movie. He goes to see like he's like, what's the noise? He goes to look. He goes on the mountain and sees the meteor, and like a little buzz buzz comes out. He's a little bee like guy from the future mm -hmm. and he's like Ness you, you're just a normal kid but you got this great destiny ahead of you and he's like oh god what do I do he doesn't talk but that's probably what I would say and then he's like you gotta follow me to this place and then you go you go there and then uh, like a star man comes and he's like I'm a guy yeah I'm an alien from a uh, like 10 years in the future, you guys killed Gygus, which is like the main bad guy, mm -hmm. and now I'm going to kill you before you can become powerful, which is super cool because immediately you're like, oh, I won, but like, how do I win? That's so the guy wow. comes to kill you before you can become powerful, but naturally, since you have Buzz Buzz, a warrior from the future, he kills, like, he, like, if he wasn't there to cast like a shield on you and like beat him up, the you do like, story would just be you done. do like one damage to him. Yeah, Buzz Buzz comes from the future to actually protect you. So um, it's just it's just crazy. Like, <laughs> there's so much more. I can, that's just the beginning. There's so much more I can talk about. And I've never really played Earthbound like all the way through, but I played a little bit of it. It's it's, it's a good mechanic. It's I've, I've seen some videos yeah. of it. I've oh yeah, the backgrounds are all like seizure esque. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. All all the definite epilepsy warning. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. All the villains are crazy looking, cool. Like there's an evil statue mm -hmm. that uh. Called the Manny Manny statue, and he corrupts like humans and brings out like their worst traits and makes That's them. That's an emissary, isn't it? Yeah, he makes them greedy. He makes them yeah. like just do awful things. And Ness's neighbor, uh, Porky, he makes he makes him evil. The protagonist of the story. Yeah, over the course of time, throughout the game, he makes that kid more and more evil. Like the kid steals a helicopter. He, like he like he like holds like. A big important for person. anyone who just doesn't want to play Earthbound, you're getting the full story, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm I'm trying to summarize it, <laughs> but like super important person, he holds him he holds him captive, and like just a good game overall. Yeah, like he just does all this awful stuff, and then you figure out later, like he. Well, don't spoil it. I'm yeah, I was about to say no spoilers. <laughs> but, he, but he's like he. Don't spoil it. He's genuine. I won't. I won't spoil what happened. But he's genuinely one of the most evil characters to ever exist in any game. Like, even more so than what Gan endorsed. Like, he's, like, genuinely an awful person. Bowser? No, dude, I'm not joking. If you 
Like, if you play Mother 3 at some point, you'll see that, like, he's, like, a dick dick. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm going on too long. What's yours? <laughs> uh, you can... Um, okay, my, my top five list. I have some honorable mentions, too. Mm-hmm. Um, it's hard some, not to. Just, just some simple ones. Uh, Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Love me some Chrono Trigger. Mm-hmm. Uh, Super Metroid. Yeah. Um, little... Little Samson. <laughs> oh yes. Anyone who doesn't know what Little Samson is, it's this really, really rare NES game. It goes from anywhere from like a thousand to three thousand dollars. But oh, yeah. I had a chance to play it when I was younger. It's an amazing game, and I highly recommend looking into it. And uh, Skyrim. Oh, of course. Oh, how did I leave that out of my? I don't Skyrim. know how I forgot that. Oh, and Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but my top five. Hey. Number five, Minecraft. Yep, of I course. I knew that hours was on and hours on Minecraft. <laughs> Not to mention watching Minecraft videos in my late teens. Oh, of just course. Like digging I mean, in. Everyone's done that at some point. Oh, um, yeah. Number four is kind of a new one. Um, Spider-Man PS4. Yep. Ooh, yeah, I love that I figured that'd be straight on up. And I'm, I'm still playing it, like I said from yep. earlier. Oh, yeah. Um, just because of the mechanics in that game and how beautiful it actually is. Like, And the thing, too, is... They decided to make a Spider-Man game out of the blue, you know? Like, they, they made a Spider-Man game similar to the Arkham series of Batman, and then they made it right when Spider-Man was, like, exploding, you know? Like, well, are you, are you shaking your head? Okay, <laughs> that makes me want to change my top five, because Arkham City is definitely in my top oh, five. Oh, yeah. Arkham City is amazing. It's such Arkham a great City. game. Have you played the newest one? Uh, Night? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 not Night. The newest one. It's, like, Arkham something. It's like just came out, like, a couple months ago. Night? <laughs> it's ass. I uh, know. I haven't uh, seen. Yeah, it's ass. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's a Spider-Man game similar to like the Arkham series, and it's got like, the best web slinging mechanics, best anything. So I swear, it's just such such a good, beautiful, amazing game. And it came out right around this time that Spider-Man was like exploding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it came out in prime. What, time. like not even a year after Homecoming? Well, no, it was. It was like like the same in between Infinity War and Spider Verse. It was like the same month as Infinity War, right? Uh, they, or like a little. It, it came out in like September. Okay, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. I I haven't had it for a super long time. It's got such um, a good story too, like oh a much better oh, one than easy. Oh, yeah. I mentioned they've already confirmed a second game. Yeah, yeah. I mean they teased it perfectly. Per- they're, they're adding yeah. DLCs as we speak. You know? Yeah, that's awesome. Um, number three. Now, I argue all the time that this is the greatest game of all time, and I still <laughs> argue that this is the greatest game of all time. It is the greatest game of all time, it's but it's not my personal yep. favorite game of all time. Can't wait. Okay. My personal favorite game is something different, but this, in my opinion, is the best game ever created. It's Super Mario World. Okay. Really? I can agree with that. It's Super Mario World. Mm-hmm. That game I can agree with paved. that. I thought you were going to say a different game that you also sometimes say is the greatest game ever made. That you said was the greatest game ever made yesterday. Radical oh, <laughs> I know that's um, on okay. your list too. Um, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, um, but no, Super Mario World. Pa- it like it's the bulldozer. It's many people's first in video the game. pavement of all kinds of other games. Of course, games like Radical Rex, games like um, <laughs> Congo's Caper, ga- games that have that two D platforming and stuff. Of course, it came from Mario originally. But Super Mario World was the first time. You could go back and replay levels that you've already played. Yeah. And that was awesome. Oh, yeah. Learn, learning secrets, learning different Isn't that great? Things. Like, that's yeah, such, you can that's find so common. You can make now. It's such a big, like, you're the just like, oh, there's secrets in games. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. That came from Super Mario the World, sw- man. The Switch balance is too. It's like, it's like a way outside of the, the level that you can make another level easier because yeah. it adds flooring. Not to mention, it's one of, like, the ground things of Mario Maker, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, it, it's, like, it's it's just so iconic, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but number two. Amazing game. Final Fantasy Seven, of course. Yep, there <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure I was Cloud Strife in a past life, even though he's not dead, nor is he real. Um, <laughs> I was him in a past life for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I could go on and on and on about Final Fantasy Seven. I know I you could, could. I could start talking about that game and never shut up about it in a million years. That's his Earthbound. Oh my god, dude, <laughs> that's Final my Fantasy galaxy. VII. But it's not my favorite game. No. No. Final Fantasy VII is my second favorite game. My number one favorite game of oh, all time. Oh, I know it is. I know. is. You guys got any guesses yet? Kingdom Hearts. You think it's Kingdom Hearts? I don't know which one. Which one? Which one? Uh, there's three now. Two. Yeah, well, I, I mean, know, there's like I 20 know, now, like, but like I don't know. I don't even know if three's good. I haven't heard it. Oh, three's before. amazing. Is two? it? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say Kingdom Hearts also, but Kingdom Hearts 2. <sighs> I'm going to go with the first one. It's funny, too. Um, I love Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. But it didn't even make my honor. Not in your top five? My favorite wow. game of all time is Link to the Past. Link wow, to the Past. Really? I okay. love it. Actually, it's a tie. Okay, it's Link to the Past and Yoshi Smash Island? Bros. the series. 
because <laughs> that's I, a little cheap. I can't pick, but <laughs> Smash Bros. is so, like, personal Near to me because I have a whole Smash Bros. display in my room. Oh, yeah. yeah but yeah. I didn't feel like I could put it on my top five list because it's top five favorite games. Yeah. And personally, Link to the Past is my favorite game. It's a, it's a that's oh, yeah. the only game that I have played all the way through 100%ed more than once. Really? I have 100%ed that game five times. <laughs> the day I got my SNES Classic, boom. The first thing I did was play Final Fantasy 3, but the second thing I did <laughs> was uh, play all the way through Link to the Past. Yeah, that is, uh, I dig that game. Kingdom Hearts is up there, though, I gotta admit. Um, I do love me some Kingdom Hearts, and I actually was only recently introduced to it, but... It's the Zelda games yeah, and man. the Zelda's Final great. Fantasies and the Marios that do it for me, man. No, I'm yeah. surprised I didn't put Xenoblade on mine, like, at yeah, all. Yeah, I'm surprised, see, too. It's, it's those games. It's so man, crazy like, that, like, as you write the list and as you start mm-hmm. talking about it, thinking about it more, more games. Like, for me, Arkham City. Arkham City makes my top five 100%. <laughs> like, every well, see, day. That's, that's the thing, too. And I had to think about games that I've always played and always done. I've played Kingdom Hearts but I don't think I could see myself going back and replaying Kingdom Hearts 1. Really? Or replaying oh, Kingdom I Hearts 2. I couldn't replay 1. They're, it, they're so big. Super yeah, I, I could replay Link to the Past over and... I could replay Final Fantasy 7 over and over again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I have played Super Mario... No, the Link to the Past thing, that was that was not true. I've 100% of Mario World. <laughs> Mario at, <laughs> at least four or five times. Yeah, like, yeah. I could play that game and beat it in like an hour. It's okay. Mm-hmm. I beat like, Luigi's Mansion like 24 times. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, there, there's those games, you know? Like, you could see this new game and it's amazing and it's a great new game and you go out, you buy it, you play it, it's great for four hours. Yeah. And then, and then you go back and you play Minecraft. And then you go back and you play Skyrim. Then you go back and you play, Skyrim, uh, go back to then you go back you play Doom again. You know, it's those old games. It's so crazy so it makes games about. like that great. There's a reason why I have Skyrim on my Switch. The, the way, uh, <laughs> in my opinion, there's a way you know if a game is worth being in your favorite one. It's mm-hmm. like you yeah. get it and you play it so much when you have you it. have that feeling. And then you stop for a little bit. And then you find yourself continuously going back to it. That's the same reason why I have Fire Red in my in my Game Boy Advance yep. in my legal bag right now. That's, yep. That's why. That's why. I always, that's why I have Breath of the Wild on there. It's because yep. I play it for a long. I play it long stretches of time. I stop for a while. And then I find myself wanting to play it again. Dude, yep. straight up, I have Prince Minecraft Murphy. Pocket Edition because I want to play <laughs> Minecraft it's just, it's randomly. Great game. And like, I build civilizations randomly just for the hell of it. Yeah, 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 like, yeah no, it's... You built a zoo the other day. I did. I built a big zoo. And that's like <laughs> the first time, thing I do. Every time I open a new Minecraft server, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna build a zoo. I'm just gonna build a zoo. You know? I like making like big farms. Like that's why. I, yeah. I should have put Stardew Valley on my list. I love that game. <laughs> that's a great. I really think we could go on another hour just talking about <laughs> games that we could have put on. The list. Oh, definitely. oh, yeah, that's for sure. But definitely. we are running out of time. Yeah. Um, sadly. So I'll uh, I'll ask you guys some closing thoughts. Yeah. Very very instantly, I'm gonna ask you one question, and I want you to say the first game that pops to your mind. Worst game of all time, Anthony. Superman 64. That's literally what I was about to say. <laughs> George. <laughs> Anthem. A bit of an exaggeration, Anthem? but just because worst like, game of all time. I mean, like I there, are, there are reasons for that, and this mostly just because, like, well, I, I mean, mean, like, I mean, it's a lot of the same reasons that Superman sixty four. It was just a broken game. Well, I mean, like, it's like it's unplayable. I think of it like, uh, sure, the game's like broken and buggy, but at least it's like enjoyable to play. Like, I think if a is game's just, I think if a game's just drop dead boring, like you just get nothing out of it. I that's, think that's no, what no, makes no, it no, a I t- game. I'm telling you right now, Anthem drop dead boring. Is you, it? You, you play that game for 20 seconds and you're gonna want to. <laughs> I mean, throw I like, so, so, so I like for you, it's stuff. Anthem. For me, it's Anthem. For you, Superman 64, Superman 64. or something else. I can't think. Mine of is um, that Mario game <laughs> that's all about collecting <laughs> coins. You mean yep. two? Yeah, it's Super two. Mario Bros. Two for the DS. I mean, you can have fun. It's with not. It. It's a yeah. fun game. I thought you were going to say mine from is now. probably Superman sixty four. Yeah, that game is ass. Or like ET on the oh, on the Atari. On the Atari, oh, good. That's Lord. one of those legendary bad games. Oh yeah, <laughs> the landfill full of them. The oh landfill. yeah. Oh god. You know one of those cartridges is worth like thousands of dollars. Oh yeah, for no a, reason. A dirty landfill cartridge just because it's history. Yeah. Video game history. Isn't it crazy? Oh, what no, I know what my worst game of all time is. What's that? Rambo for the PS3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right, it, it, funny thing, it was released in, like, 2014. Uh-huh. Or, like, for a, the PS3. Or, like, a, oh, another one, Gingerbread Man for the Wii. Or gin, oh, Ninja Bread. What are these? Ninja <laughs> Bread Man. Ninja Bread Man's not bad. Dude. Rambo's terrible. Ninja though. Bread Man um, But we are out of time. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, I'm Sean Price. I'm Anthony Frontino. I'm George Hines. And thank you for listening to Sayonara. Super Sayonara. Goodbye.